this is me. Well, what's up? Um, I just want to tell you, with everything going on with Maddie and, you know, we're just busy and lots of things are in the works. Um, first of all, I appreciate you and everything you've done for my kids. But we're going to, after this season, we're just going to not be on the elite team anymore. It's hard. I, you know how I love the ALDC. So the so rumors are true. I, I don't know who got that rumor out because it wasn't me. Right. My question is, Maddie is signed, sealed, and delivered to shoot the Sia movie. Yeah. So she's not doing anything else between the movie and now. Um, I don't want to see them on So You Think You Can Dance, kids. I don't want to th them doing anything like don't that. Don't worry. Maddie's not going to be um, dance on So You Think You Can Dance, kids. Maddie's not going on that, so. All right. We have four more competitions. And then it's over. We've been here for a long time. You know what's why didn't you tell me before this? You couldn't call me on the weekend. I, I didn't want to even think about it, to be honest with you. Just always want you to be proud of them. I'm proud of them. I know you are. My mom always said that God works in mysterious ways. That's the way it goes. It broke my heart, but the show must go on. Maddie? Where you are in life and in this position that you're in, and you, you are a member of the ALDC, the Junior League Competition Team, so you're somebody already. I want you to know that I love each and every one of you. I would have never been a dance teacher. You know, if I didn't love kids, why would you do this job? It's clear the announcement about Kinsey and Maddie leaving is taking its toll on Abby. She is beside herself. Abby, Melissa told us things are going to change and there will be spots open on the team. Well, Mackenzie doesn't know, so we need to not just blurt it out. I think that it should have been handled completely different by your fabulous, wonderful attorney and me. We're just kind of trying to gauge, like, Who's going where? I don't want to talk about it, because this is personal. Why don't you girls yeah, understand stand out here? Okay. Just go ahead. So you go. Don't go, go far. Uh, Mackenzie doesn't know the news yet, and it's evident Abby's agitated and upset. She can't handle it. She can't handle it. And this is not the time or place to have this type of conversation. I don't know. Nobody knows. I'm the owner. We're just going to go. Abby told her something. We need a moment for the girls to digest what's going on and to process what this really means for the ALDC. No, you're not crazy. Okay, so what's going on, Melissa? Okay, okay so <laughs> I just what's going on? Mackenzie, listen, because you don't know this. Um, Maddie, Mackenzie, and I are going to be here for four more weeks, and then we're moving on. Um, we'll always be sorry. I'm kind of shocked <laughs> because all of the girls are like my best friends. We love you guys so much. This has been such <laughs> Come here, girls. <laughs> this has been such a great ride together. <laughs> so let's have this next four weeks be so amazing. Okay. Can we stop fighting then? <laughs> well, we weren't fighting this time. Where's Abby? We just had a really emotional moment with the girls and the moms, and unfortunately, Abby wasn't there to be a part of it. It's clear that Abby's very upset. We need to show her getting captured hostage. Here, Maddie, do it with me. Like, I'm pushing you into this door. Like, come on, kid. 
Maddie's piece is entitled The Hostage, inspired by the movie Room. She's portraying a character that is being held against her will. The actress in this movie just won the Oscar. Let's see if Maddie gives an Oscar-winning performance. Once you're there, then pick your head up. Melissa, what was their first solos that they ever did? Do you remember? Oh, my gosh. I'll Google it. Here, look, look. What I'm best at is tap and lyrical. And I've won a lot of awards for my solos that are tap and lyrical. And this is my first year doing a lyrical dance. And last year, I did a jazz dance, but I never went for a title for that. Oh, my god, look at you! Kenzie looks like a baby. She was. She was a baby. Six years old. Or five. You changed, Melissa. Look at you. Uh, I'm an oh. L.A. woman now. <laughs> Roll over and, like, arch up. Keep coming. Good, Maddie. Well, I just thought it was interesting that Abby's not emotional about you leaving. I thought there would be more emotion from her. I thought there would be something. I'm kind of shocked that it's not like a big deal. She actually put more thought into your solo than their solos, I think. They're not symbolic of what's happening. Hostage? Like, I'm sure it's going to be amazing, but how about the next chapter of my life? Like, something? Well, because if she could hold her hostage, she would. No, Maddie, I'm just like, I'm really happy for you, but I'm also sad at the same time. Go out there and dance like you usually do, and please do not make me cry. I love you. This needs to be my best performance ever, because it's going to be my last one. I really just want to take the win for my last solo on this team. Number 127, The Hostage. think that Melissa, Maddie, and Mackenzie are leaving. They started it all, but I don't want to show them that I'm sad because they need to leave. They need to move on to bigger and better things because that's what they deserve. Oh, Stop! I don't want to cry. <laughs> I just want my mom crying in the audience. Our top senior soloist for the day. I think it'd be amazing to win first place on my last competition, and I'd love to wrap up my ALDC journey with the win. Taking it home. That is going out to number 127, the hostage is I'm so proud of Maddie. She's come so far. Maddie has grown up on the stage before our eyes, and she's won so many dance competitions but this one feels just so special. Yeah.